What is going on, guys? Welcome to WrestleCraft, powered by ASICS Hosting. If you guys want to get your own server, use ASICS. Use the code TUBBY and save 10%. We've got some work done that we did on the live stream. Uh, the WrestleCraft live streams are at twitch.tv forward slash TUBBY EMU. Uh, my internet's been saved, so we're going to be streaming this week, too. WrestleCraft online by TUBBY EMU, hosted by ASICS Hosting at ASICS Hosting. ASICS, let's say 50%. And Haru is here. I'm God Deal with it. So this is our starting area that we're working on. You come out, and uh, Haru will not let me add another door back here. So uh, we're going to start back here. You come over here, and the, you've already seen this. This is the NXT arena that we have that you guys can be a part of. You come out here, and this is your own little NXT experience. We've got the shot calling area, all that stuff. This hasn't changed. But eventually, we're going to go back to the main stadium. That's what I want to show you, and then we're going to work on. So let's fly over here, go back out the door. Get out of here. Well, no, no, get out of the door. No, what the hell? There we go. I couldn't walk out a, a simple door. Oh, it looks like Haru built a village over there. All right, let's jump over here to check out our arena now. Jump to. And once more. Here we go. So we're back in WrestleCraft, and uh, Haru and I were working on the pyro during the live stream. And uh, we have pyro set in, so uh, I'm not exactly sure how much pyro we have. So let's go and look, see if we need to add in pyro. I don't remember if the dispensers were empty or not. I'm pretty sure all the pyro should be here. Can I was just throw in an extra one for the ones that don't have any pyro in there? Simply duplicate them. And then we'll go ahead and show it off. And uh, it's not its not very easy to hide it, but it is what it is. All right, so we don't have any over here. So let's throw in fireworks on each of this side. So we need fireworks there, there. And right now it's just the basic purple one that I've already had. So as I go in and put these all in, the cool thing is when we did the redstone repeater and all that stuff, some people had suggestions to do like a sticky piston. And then you could kind of hide it from the ground. And I was like, ah, you know, we couldn't get it to work. And I was a little bummed out about that. But I really like what we've got. And especially the fact that we have tripwire set up. That way, you, when nobody even has to set off the pyro, it's just when you come walking out. And then what I'll do is we're going to have pyro in another place of the stage that basically sets it off at different locations. So we've got all the pyro on this side now. And we've got our tripwire right here. So here's how you set it off. Uh, I'm going to put a tripwire back here too. And then there's going to be some pyro that launches uh, out of here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do it yet. But you come on out. You're making your way down to the ring. Tabi Emu! Whoosh. And you've got pyro. So I'm going to fly up, trip the wire, and then let you guys see what it looks like. So fly, tripwire. And then we've got the pyro now. So the tripwire allows us to not even have to set anything off. And it's just manually good to go. Um, the one thing I did want to see, though, I wanted to see if it was possible to set off a tripwire on the ground. Was my only thing I did want to see if that was possible at all. No, it's got to be on a block. Okay, shoot. Well, uh, it is what it is. Is We just kind of keep setting the pyro off. I love pyro. I think it looks awesome. And it's starting to take that effect that we want because what we want is to make it um, as realistic as possible. So now uh, we need to find a location for our other pyro. So you come on out. Whether it's like right here. Like so, and then we got to get string. So we got to find our string. We put that in there. Uh, get rid of the redstone lamp. Then we need some redstone. We'll take our redstone and our carpet. So then what we'll do is we'll drop down here. So now we do have water below the stage because I did have water set up. So this is going to make shit a little bit more difficult, but we'll figure out a way to isolate the water. That way we're not screwing every single thing up. Oh, no, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. No, no, no. Close that off, man.
Yeah, we got to get rid of all this water. This is what I was trying to be a little cautious of. So we've got the redstone. It would come down here. And then we'd come down. And then eventually it would basically come out of sight like so. So we'd have the redstone like so. And then what we're going to do when that offshoot, once I get rid of all this, got to close in my water. This is what happens when I built pools and we decided not to use the pools. So we've got our pyro and then the redstone will come down. It'll get out of the way. That way you can't see it. Like so. And then you can actually put the blocks in. We may have to, we'll hide it some way. And then let's go ahead and cross the string. And then you can see it'll basically set it off. So what? I, why isn't it connecting to it? It should be connecting to it. Wow. Do I have to pull it? I think I have to pull it farther back. One back. Let me see this. We may have to back up just one. Right there and then right here. I'm not 100% sure on this because it is still a work in progress and I don't ever really use tripwire or string. Why is this drop down though? I'm not sure why that's dropping down, but you guys can see what we're going for uh, when we do do this. So we have the pyro. Screw it. Let's just pretend it's it's right here. And it goes back here. So let's do this. Back here where nobody can see. And then we're going to drop a roof in like so. Now let's see if it'll set it off. There we go. So we do have the pyro getting work done. So I want to know which, where you guys think we can put the pyro. How do we hide it? Let me know in the comment section below where you guys want to see the pyro. Because uh, I really do want to hide it, but I want pyro. So it's got to go somewhere. And what I may actually do, and I, I think it's possible, is if I have the pyro from here, come up here. And then my plan was to have it offshoot from here in kind of a pattern. So what would happen was... It would come up like so and in the fastest way possible, like so. And then eventually we'd, we'd need to put in a repeater. So it would have to go to one of them. But then the pyro would come out. I would try to put the pyro dispensers right there. And that way the pyro would kind of shoot out. And I, I don't know if it'll work perfectly, but it would be really cool. And I want to know your guys' thoughts where you think I can put the pyro. If you think the pyro would look good coming out of here, if you'd rather have the pyro hidden, I want to get your thoughts on it. And uh, I probably should just open up WrestleCraft, but I'm still a little nervous about people coming in and fucking stuff up. I may let in some trusted donors or people, not even donors, but just people I trust on the server to help me build this. Because we need to get the starting area built still. Before I invite people in, we need to get all the worlds and all the mods and everything set up before I go in and uh, start inviting people in. So the pyro, we got to get it set up. Let me know, guys, how you want the pyro, where I should hide it. Give me some suggestions uh, as I go and I, I trip off more pyro. I just love that. I think that looks so cool. And then we trigger this pyro, and it goes up here, and it'll run away. And that way, it, it'll make it look. Let me see if there's a spot for pyro here. We can have it run all the way up here, but that'd be a long, long, long pyro to set off if it was all the way up there. So I think it would have to be, let's say I pretend to put it here. So I have black right here, and then let me grab a dispenser. And then we have to set up the dispenser like so. Well, bam. All right. So let me try this. 
where it's got to go all the way up to that dispenser. So the, the pyro's coming up like so. Got the redstone in. And eventually it would make its way up in some way, shape, or form. And we're going to have to put in a repeater eventually here and uh, see if it'll get up there. So let me know what you guys want to see. And we'll be live streaming WrestleCraft uh, soon. And uh, thank you again to ASICS. I know like seven or eight of you guys have tried a server from ASICS. You guys are saying you're loving it so far from what I've heard. If you do get a server from ASICS and you use the code Tubby and you email me at tubbyemu at gmail.com, the actual IP address uh, with your wrestling arena is like you can take your whole offline file. So if I go back up and I go into my single player files, right, and the arenas that we did when I was doing the WWE contests, so like the SummerSlam uh, stage default thing, I can take this world and wait, no, that was a bad world to spawn into. That was a really, really bad uh, example. Let's say I spawn into this one. You have the SummerSlam arena. If you have a, a world full of arenas, you could take your offline arena and upload it, and then you could put it on your ASIC server, and then all your world is basically online for everybody to play, see, all that good stuff. And uh, if you do use that code and you send me that IP to tubbymojumail.com and you have arenas or you want me to check out your server, I definitely will. And uh, we probably will even make a video on it and kind of showcase your server to the millions and millions. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you for watching this WrestleCraft video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash tubbymoo, twitch.tv forward slash tubbymoo for WrestleCraft and other Minecraft uh, stuff. So, until next time, thank you for watching, and we will see you all later.